Hey guys, Doug here again with uh, special guest egg layer number three. <laughs> uh, you might remember a couple years ago I did a, uh, a video of my chicken coop. In that it was just a real quick montage video and I, uh, I showed the coop but I had put in the chicken dance uh, the song and it was uh, copyright issues and anyway I ended up deleting it. But that was just uh, showing the coop so I thought uh, it would be kind of fun to do a little video. Uh, with all the new subscribers too, to uh, show you my setup and uh, where I get my eggs. Right? You speak? Hmm? You speak? So this is the uh, the coop here. I'll show you some of the features I have in it. But right now, I have uh, seven seven uh, just hybrid layers. They're uh, like a generic layer, and. Uh, they're keeping us in the eggs. I don't have a rooster because uh, I like my neighbors, but uh, I sure wish I did. Uh, the roosters really uh, keep the pecking order down. This is the home up here. It's raised off the ground. That's where they, uh, they sleep at night and they lay their eggs here. So every morning, Sophie or actually probably closer to lunchtime before they're all laid, but uh, Sophie will come in and uh, grab the eggs during the daytime. But what, uh, this area here is only this big, and that has uh, has the, the wood shavings in it, and that's the only area that we keep the shavings in because of uh, we don't want them laying all over, and they know enough to lay their eggs only in the shavings, so that's a good thing. I made these uh, tubes out of a PVC, and they're all they have caps on them, and then I just put the elbows on the bottom that duck in, and that holds the feed. And it's just a, a gravity feed and uh, works great. I can fill these up. They're probably good for a couple weeks. And that's just the, uh, the laying mash that I feed them. And then this bin here is uh, some scratch grains that uh, I always throw a handful on the ground. And uh, they're also voracious uh, compost eaters. So our compost does not get uh, too full with the chickens. It's nice to have a solid hutch that they can retreat to and be closed in at night and they feel safe and uh, it's safe and secure so that uh, there's no predators. Once we had ducks down here one one year and uh, they were instantly massacred within a week from the must have been coons or whatever but being up here in the hutch they're they're protected and safe and uh, yeah and we got peace of mind that uh, they're going to be there in the morning. <laughs> The coop itself is about 4 feet by about 20 feet long, the run part, and the same as uh, about four, 4 feet up here for the housing. Now, when I come home at work, I open up the, uh, the gate and uh, I let them forage freely in the yard, and then at dusk they know enough that they come back, come back in their uh, coop and up the stairs, and uh, they put themselves to bed every night without, uh, without having to be told 15 times, like some kids. They, uh, they're pretty good about bedtime. So it's uh, night time and uh, the girls are all in bed up here. So you can see them roosted up on their, up on their sticks. They're calling, calling it a night. So we'll see you girls in the morning. So that's basically it for the uh, look at the coop. I just thought I'd be, I always say I'm going to do more homesteady stuff, but never really do. Always carving or, uh, or adventures. So I hope you like this, something different. And uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later, guys.